Hello everyone, my name is Catherine and this is Ellie Webdev. Ellie Webdev is short for Elementor Website Development. This channel is dedicated to beginners and intermediates of the Elementor page builder for WordPress. Today's topic is about making containers responsive. In the last video I posted, which if you haven't seen, There'll be a little assistant card right here to point you to that last video about how I converted sections into containers. And if you don't know what I'm talking about containers, Elementor is going to be moving into a Flexbox based code. So I'm helping you along the way learn how containers will be in the future for Elementor. So I will show you my desktop and where we left off last time. Last time, um, here is our section with a light blue tab and we converted it and made it look exactly like we needed to in this container, which is a teal color. So if you decide to get into figuring out what containers are and sections and graduate yourself into sections, you'll know the difference between the colors of the panels at the top. One is teal and one is light blue. So to move on into making this responsive, I'm going to right click on the tab here and I'm going to copy and I will go to a new page that is ready for our responsive containers. And right here in this little dotted section, I'm going to right click and choose paste. So there is our container. And I'm going to just give this container uh, some space away from the, the title of the page because that's a little too close. So I'm going to give a top of 100. Oops, not a thousand. That's too much. Uh, just need a little bit of space, not a whole lot. So let's move to making this responsive. So I'll take my pointer and I'm just for this purposes, I'm just going to update our page because it's always important to update your page and I'll click on responsive mode right down here, the little computers. And I'll click on that. And all that does is reveal the bar up here. And these are our three responsive modes. Now, yes, Elementor has more than three responsive modes. You can make more, but for the ease and simplicity of this tutorial for beginners and intermediates, we will only stick to the tablet and the mobile versions. So, We've got our section here, excuse me, container. We have to change our vocabulary, container. We've got our container and our two children containers inside. So what we need to choose first is, do we want our icon boxes above the counters? or the other way around? Do we want the counters above the icon boxes? So in this case, to challenge ourselves, I'm going to make sure that the title and the counters are above the icon boxes. All right, so we need to control the, the children, okay? Because in the last video we talked about grandparent, parent, and children. So if we're going to go with that mindset, this main section, or excuse me, container, see, I've still, I've, my brain hasn't switched over yet. I'm going to call this the grandparent container that has the tab at the top, which has a child container, child number one and child number two. And each one of these children containers have widgets that are children within it. Okay, so we know if we move to the tablet size, let's see what happens. Ooh, 
we um, a lot of stuff is going on and uh, that's what happened in the last video we need to um, help ourselves out here so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the grandparent container the the, the overarching container and we need to make some some decisions so we know if we right click and edit this main container, the grandparent here, and we go to layout, we go to our items that are inside the grandparent, and we say, let's go in a column. That works. We have gotten our content to go on top of each other instead of side by side but it's in the wrong order. So we've got row, we've got column, and we've got reverse row, and we've got reversed column. So if we change it from reversed column, we have exactly what we need. End of tutorial. <laughs> two buttons, just click those two. No, it's not that simple. It gets a little tricky in, in mobile, so let's just keep rolling on. So it looks good here in our tablet mode. You know, we, we have a little squashing going on here. We were, were a little squeezed by the sides. So we'll just right click on this container. Let me turn off my circle. And I'm gonna go to that container and I'm gonna go to advanced. And I'm gonna say, let's add a little bit of padding on the left and right. So if I go here and say 20, and 20, that looks good. From our previous tutorial, in order to give good visual space, I added some, pick, some um, padding inside of this container, which we really don't need anymore. So if I go up here to advanced on that upper container, we have 60. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zero out everything and that squishes it to the sides. But what we'll do is we will just say, uh, turn off the linking values. And I will say left, excuse me, right 20 and left 20. Looking good. I would say that tablet mode is done. Sure, we can add some padding down here from our, excuse me, margin from this container. We will go to the bottom and add 30 pixels. That looks good. Okay, now we're done. Now let's move to the mobile. And so if I take my pointer and I come up here and click on mobile, well, we've got, we're, we're almost there. Some of our children items are a little squeezed here and everything's in a column here. Okay, well, let's, let's figure out how this is working. So we've got our header, headers going 100%, great. Our paragraphs 100%, but we need to work on the percentage widths of these three counters. So if we click on one and we go to advanced to see the width of that icon, uh, excuse me, counter widget, we've got from the previous, um, tablet mode, they're in 30.3% wide. So if I said, hmm, we want them 100% wide, let's go 100. There we go. And I will just right click and copy and paste that on each one, paste that style and paste that style. So now we have all everything 100% wide, great. And now we need to kind of do the same thing with our icon boxes. So if I click on the icon box and I go to advanced and here we go with the width, I'm gonna give it a percentage, actually, they may fit for 50% wide, but if you wanted to go 100, we can do that. We'll just click in 100 and I will 
right click and copy that style and I'll paste that style on each one of these icon boxes and right click and paste style so everything's looking good it's 100% full width everything looks good there uh, we may need to drop this down a little bit we'll go to the heading and we'll go to style and we'll go to typography and we'll go to rim and we'll go to two um, two's too big um, did I choose the title yes I did okay just not getting the there we are 1.5 there we go 1.5 is how that will work I'm gonna hit update on my page and so all of that looks good on the mobile now if you say to yourself well I want these to be 50% well let's give that a try I'll edit the icon box and I'll go to 50% and I will right click on this one well hey, let me just right click and choose copy and I'll right click and paste style they don't go and the reason is because we if we go back and check this container and to edit the container if we go to the layout and we go to our items we have a element gap of a default 20 pixels so if we force that to be zero well then they're squeezed together you know right there in the middle it, it doesn't look too good so we're going to have to play with the percentage width of the items themselves these icon boxes so even if we go back and we put in the 20 pixels we need to change the width because it's an additive uh, size the pixels add more so if we go to 50 let's go 48 percent and I'm going to right click and copy that size and right click and paste style 48 is not enough so if I go to the icon box the very first one and I go 47 percent and let's right click and copy that and paste that style hmm 47 percent is not enough so we have to you know ask ourselves how far do we want to go to um, I'm having problems with my mouse here mm hmm um, let's go 46 percent 46 there we go so if you do want to make sure that they fit you have to play with the percentage of how wide that child is so now that I've got 46 percent I'm gonna right click paste style and then right click and paste style oh we didn't get something didn't work right why did it not work right hmm let's find out let me right click and edit the icon box we will go to advanced it's 47 let's go 46 there we go right click copy and right click paste style and if you wanted them 50 50 you that's great if you wanted them 100 stay there but we've got our mobile sections looking good so I hope this has helped you in understanding the percentage widths and that additive container padding that goes on inside of the containers so I'll see you next time